you're beginning your college career or making a career change, getting your degree doesn't have to be complicated. Today's Our Town Hoopston community sponsor is Danville Area Community College High Learning Higher Learning Center. And joining me now are the director Carla Kuhn and Kendra Mortz. Hello, ladies. Hello. Well, we're going to start with Carla, who we have here with us now. Let's talk a little bit about the DAC Higher Learning Center there in Hoopston, because you're you're an extension of DAC, because I think most people just assume DAC is in Danville. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are an extension. We opened in September of 2013, and the community of Hoopston uh, worked together with Dr. Jacob at DACC and the Board of Trustees and all of the administrators and the, the deans and put together a plan to have an extension center in Hoopston. And what, the has, the, what has the response been like since opening that extension for um, students? It's been very good. We have um, we've expanded our class offerings for fall we'll be offering nine credit classes and uh, there are some days our busiest days we have in our building coming and going upwards of 70 students in a day and um, so the response has been good we're always looking to grow our enrollment and grow our class offerings but I think everybody's been pleased to have us here and are taking advantage of it. We have high school students and we have adult um, traditional college students that have graduated and gone on to, to, to DACC. And then we have adults that have worked or been parents or want a career change and they come back to us as well. Well, I am sure COVID-19 has definitely put a little um, challenge in um, how things are going there. So Kendra, let's talk a little bit about how you guys have kind of navigated navigated the pandemic with your classes and offerings? Well, I became the tech support person here at the Hoopston Extension, and I worked with Maggie Hoover, our online specialist, and she, so I could see our Blackboard and those items from a student perspective and the teacher's or instructor's perspective to make sure I understood what was going on and any questions or problems that the students had with their Blackboard, I was able to help them through it. They could call and they feel comfortable talking to us about the, their problems and we can help them through it. And that was mostly my training is just being able to see it from the instructor and the student side. Because basically Blackboard. this this higher learning center is, is, is exactly that. It's the center where people come to do their learning. This isn't an online type thing, but it quickly became one. Yes, yes it did. <laughs> <laughs> we made it through those struggles and making sure the students could see their blackboards and their e emails and work in that online environment going from the person in person classroom setting. Yeah. So I, think, I think our students were successful. <laughs> well, and hopefully they have kind of figured things out because it sounds like that may be the, the route we're taking for fall with your online hybrid, um, is what we're calling it. Yes, we do have all of our classes set up as hybrid classes, which means they can be taught in the classroom, but there's also going to be a significant online component. And so depending on how things look in August, you know, we'll either have, we really expect to have um, limited numbers of students in the building. So if we have 20 in a class, we may have, have 10 come one day, and they'll go through the lecture while the rest of the class is on video or views the, the lecture on Zoom, on a recorded Zoom, and then they'll switch back and forth. It just depends on what the needs of the individual instructors and students are. If the instructors need to lecture the same class twice, they'll do that for each half of the class. But the important thing is, is that students expect that there's going to be a significant online portion to the class because as you mentioned, our students are used to coming here. That's what they're comfortable doing. And that switch without warning was a shock to everybody's system. I'm sure. Um, yeah, so we, we stayed really in contact with our students. Our instructors did as well. Um, when students come to the Higher Learning Center, they kind of get a couple of extra moms that are going to be looking after them. <laughs> and, uh, that's one of our special our special touches that we offer. Well, but yeah. it took a lot of nurturing to get them through that. So, well, And I'm just sure there's still a lot to figure out. We've got some time, but there is still time to get registered for classes this fall. 
there is. You know, we're in registration right now. We have nine credit classes that we're offering, and we also have College Express, which is a high school class, a CNA class. We are still figuring out the details for CNA, the adult CNA, and GED classes. But as soon as we know anything, um, we'll be communicating with um, the public on how they can register and when classes will start. All right, lots to still um, figure out there at DAC Higher Learning Center. But I have the utmost confidence in all of you and your team there to make sure that everyone um, gets the support they need to get signed up and learn some new things. There's a look at their Facebook page and website and we'll share that at sayliving.tv. Kendra and Carla, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.